It is I, Foster Domus. New Orleans at Carolina, fantastic Thursday night game. The over-under is uh, 52. Should be real high scoring here. Both teams uh, better on offense than defense. Two defenses that hadn't looked that great. Carolina still got a great front seven, though. But you got to think uh, New Orleans will get some big plays in the passing game with the receivers they got, especially Brandon Cooks. Uh, and the tight end is not bad. I think uh, New Orleans will have to set us up for some field goals, though. I think they'll have a chance to uh, tie it at the end with a two-point conversion, but they'll fail. Carolina will win 27-25. Uh, definitely don't like Carol. Uh, if you like Carolina, three and a half points. I, I don't know about that. I, th I think they might win, but uh, anything over three and a half or four, I, I'm not too sure about. Tennessee at Indy. I thought Indy would be a three-point favorite, and they are. I kind of like Tennessee as, as the better team in the future, and I think they have a chance to win the division. But I'm going to take Indy and the points in this game. Uh, Colts, I think, have a bye week. Another real high-scoring game. 53, so that's that's real high. Um, Tennessee's been all right on defense. so um, But... Uh, I got you. Got like the Colts' chances to uh, score close to 30 points or so and win and cover. Um, moving forward, it's pretty even at, at quarterback. I think. Uh, but I think Tennessee will put a better team around Mariota. I think they already are. So, but in this game, I'll take the Colts. Jacksonville at Detroit. I thought the Lions would be a seven-point favorite. They're only six and a half. Or it might be seven by game time. Uh, no reason. I'll take the Lions all day in the seven points. Uh, I would probably get it now. It might. Who knows if it'll go to seven and a half? Uh, I was big on Jacksonville to start. They stuck it up, uh, so I picked against them. Then I picked picked them last week because they had a winnable game and they stunk again. So I don't, I don't know what kind of situation they'll have to, if they look good in this game. I don't know. Uh, anything over seven, though, Jacksonville does play in the fourth quarter and gets usually a touchdown in the fourth quarter. Because the game's usually already out of hand by then. So look for it might be right around the seven there, but I like Detroit. KC at Tampa Bay. I thought KC would be uh, closer to six and a half. They're seven and a half. Um, fantastic defense. Tampa Bay's had a bunch of banged up running backs and uh, relied too much on their passing game, which just sitting ready to be a to be a big time. Even though they got Mike Evans, who's fantastic, he's a big time receiver. Uh, Peters is one of the. I'm definitely starting to watch him more. He, he's a big time cornerback, and they already have a great front seven. Eric Berry made a big play in the last game. Chiefs are a real exciting team to watch. Uh, they got they got to handle their business and win this game. They got a one of the best games of the year at Denver next week. Um, I think uh, these AFC West teams will probably be 12 wins, 11 and 10. I, I like Oakland, KC, and Denver in, in that order with 12 wins, 11 and 10. So K, KC's got to win this and keep keep chugging. Chicago at the Giants. I thought the Giants would be uh, a big favorite. Uh, they are seven and a half. I thought they'd be closer to six and a half or seven. But uh, Chicago, for whatever reason, looked good against Minnesota. Again, they got back to uh, Cutler got back to his old ways last week. Are the Giants this big time team that's going to be seven and a half point favorites in a bunch of home games? I, I don't think so. I think that's because of the Bears. Um, so, I would maybe wait for this to go to seven, but I like the Giants for sure, and the points. Um, still not sold on, on them as a, a big-time playoff team, but uh, maybe they are. Uh, it'll depend on how good their uh, defense is. Everybody knows how good Odell is, but their other receivers are starting to look pretty good. So, might be like one of the uh, – Eli's done it before with teams like this, so who knows. Arizona at Minnesota. I thought Arizona would be a two and a half point favorite. 
This game is actually a, a coin flipper right now, and the point total is real low. It's 40 and a half. Um, and you got you got to wonder which team's going to score over 20. I think Arizona will. I think Arizona will win by at least two or three. I think David Johnson will be the big the player in this game. He's way better than uh, the Vikings running backs. And uh, it obviously looks like they think this is going to be an ugly game. Bradford and uh, Palmer both look kind of past their prime. The Cardinals have got more weapons uh, on offense. They're going to try and contain Diggs and that kind of marginal Minnesota offense right now. And I, I don't know if the Vikings are completely healthy right now either. The Cardinals definitely aren't on defense, but I don't think it matters. Um, I'm not counting Minnesota out of the playoff contention yet, but they're definitely struggling right now. Buffalo at Cincinnati. I thought Cincinnati would be a three-point favorite, and they are. Um, this is a real interesting game. Both teams are kind of a uh, bad matchup for each other, probably. I, I, I like Cincinnati, though, to, to win. Uh, I'm going to say they win 27-24. The point total is pretty high, too. Uh, you would think these defenses are as good as their offenses. It's 47 uh, plus, you don't know what the weather's going to be. I'm guessing I think the weather's going to be nice everywhere. So all these point totals are high, but uh, it's definitely that type of time of the year where you got to start uh, looking at this forecast. Uh, I think, you know, A.J. Green's just way better than anybody Buffalo's got. And uh, Cincinnati, I think, still hungry, even though they've been struggling, and they're definitely not as good as they have been in the past years. And uh, Buffalo's not that bad, but I'm going to take Cincy. Dallas at uh, uh, Baltimore and Dallas. I thought Dallas would only be like five and a half or, or something just because Baltimore's pretty good. But uh, there's, there's seven points. Their fans are fully out of the woodwork all over the place. So I've been picking, uh, well, I picked against Dallas last week. But overall, I, I definitely I believe the hype for a while, uh, even before they beat the Packers on the road. I, I, th I might have picked them. I can't remember if I picked them on that game or not. But uh, I wouldn't be. They don't play too many teams like Baltimore, so I, I don't love the winning by seven or anything like that. But uh, I'm going to take it just because uh, they look too good. Baltimore is definitely not that uh, great on offense. I think Steve Smith might. I'll be interested to see if he has a big game. And uh, Baltimore struggled to run after having some decent running games. So if they can't run the ball. Uh, they're not going to be in this game. Uh, Dallas just looks too good right now. Pitts Pittsburgh at Cleveland. I thought uh, Pittsburgh would be a double-digit favorite of 11 or so, and they're, they're only eight or nine points, uh, but you got no reason to like Cleveland. Uh, this is a rivalry game. Pittsburgh does play weird sometimes, but look at all those weapons and they, they've you know still got a losing record right now I think they're four or five uh, <laughs> they got to get going against whoever they're playing and they're playing Cleveland this week the over under is 49 so definitely expect a high scoring game and uh, not a whole lot of respect for Pittsburgh's defense right now uh, they just don't have a big name player big t too many big time players and they're just not that great overall uh, I don't see Cleveland uh, scoring a whole bunch of points against them or, or keeping up. And Pittsburgh might like it if they score and they have a chance to sling it around. Miami at L.A. Uh, I had uh, Miami as a three-point favorite just because Goff's playing his, starting his first game. Uh, L.A. is a – Los Angeles has a top ten defense, I think. I said that a couple weeks ago, and I definitely stand by it now. I've, they only kept the Jets to six points on the in New York last week. Uh, I'm gonna pick Miami. Uh, they're only one point favorite, or one and a half. Uh, the over under is 40. Shows you how good these two defenses are. But uh, I, I think Miami's just better better on offense. Uh, even if Goff does look good. Should be a, a low scoring tight game. Um, Gurley hasn't really gotten running the ball, and uh, the Dolphins running uh, rookie running back looks fantastic. So 
Uh, we'll see if, if he has a big game. I def I like Miami to win by at least three. Uh, New England at San Fran. I thought New England would be a huge 13-point favorite on the road, and that's what they are. With Gronkowski out, it would probably be even higher. The over-under is 51 and a half, so uh, look for New England's defense to maybe give up some points. But just because the 49ers played well against the Cardinals last week, I don't think they'll do that against New England, especially New England coming off a, a loss. Um, it is the road trip in mind, so maybe it won't be a blowout, but I, I think New England will, will definitely ha handle their biz, especially coming off a, a loss. Um, still definitely don't get the Jamie Collins trade, not to say that's why they lost to Seattle, but uh, Seattle definitely took advantage of the rookie linebacker that's replacing him. And I, don't, I don't think that'll set Cleveland off, though, either. Philly at Seattle. I was hoping uh, Seattle would be a seven and a half point favorite. They're only six and a half, so uh, both the, uh, Philly's a big time defense, only giving up 160 points this year, which is about uh, Seattle's giving up just a little bit less than that, and um, they're not they're number one. So Philly's defense is uh, he, you know they got rid of Maxwell and Alonzo, and they're even better. Um, and, I, and I nothing against those two guys. I think they're not bad, but uh, I don't think Philly will win this game. I like Seattle to win and cover, but if Philly gets going, uh, you know, hat, hats off to their coach and GM. And uh, I like Wentz, but a rookie quarterback in Seattle, I, I don't know how they're going to score. The over/under is 44, so I think things will have to go wrong for Seattle for Philly to score over 20. And even if they do, uh, the way Seattle's offense is starting to look. I don't. I think the changes in the running game won't matter for Seattle. If anything, I think they'll help, it's, especially if Ross is healthy, which I think he might be. Um, Green Bay at Washington. This is a real interesting game here. Green Bay struggling like they are, and and Washington uh, hanging around, hanging around just like they did last year, and uh, still not out of it. I mean, they could win this, and uh, Cowboys lose, and. Uh, I don't know if they have another game with them or not, but they're, they're by no, no means out of it, or the wild card either. The over-under is 50 and a half. Um, that seems kind of high, high to me. With uh, Both have you know great offenses on paper, but uh, haven't always put up the big yardage uh, numbers that you thought they would maybe at the beginning of the season. I thought uh, the Redskins would be two and a half, and they are two and a half, or... Some even have three. So I'm going to take Washington. Just because the Packers don't look so good. Uh, Green Bay's had a lot of guys banged up. So I would think some of those guys have got to be coming back soon. Some Somebody, they got to start uh, ha having some uh, better bench depth, which they have. And then, you know, so running back, their backup got hurt. So it's been a long uh, season for them. But they just don't look as good. So I by no means like Washington that much at all. To me, it's kind of a coin flip game. But uh, I'll, I'll take them in the points. If, if, if they're going to win, you think they're going to win by three if it's close. You can definitely see Green Bay uh, making a play at the end. Rodgers is still a big-time QB with great receivers. Houston and Oakland. Uh, I thought Oakland would be uh, four and a half, and they're five and a half or six. I thought the game... Might be, be a little bit weird with being in Mexico City. If this was in uh, Oakland, I would I would think Oakland would win by ten. They're hot right now, and Houston's just kind of inexplicably six and three. It's, like, it's, it's unbelievable. With uh, Oswald looks worse than Manny did last year when they kept winning games. Um, so I'm definitely taking Oakland and the points. Uh, I'm going I'm to go ahead and uh, go on record. I think Oakland will get back at New England for that uh, fumble game, however many years ago that uh, set Brady off, taking Oakland to lose to uh, Seattle in the Super Bowl. I think Seattle will beat Dallas, especially still a chance they could get that game in Seattle. So uh, Oakland will have to take care of the ball, but if they do, I think they'll make enough plays to win. Might be close, might be right at six or seven points, but I think they'll win. All right, thank you.